Hey folks, it's Dave again here. Today we're kicking off a series all about our awesome, non-destructive and totally free modifiers. First up, it's Stretch. Check out our website for a selection of modifiers and loads of example projects. Just hit the effects button and you'll see a small number of modifiers available in the app. Inside each of the modifiers is a set of projects and you can click those to be taken straight into them within the app. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump straight into Stretch and see what it can do. Okay, here we are in the Stretch Modifier Example Project and it's worth, just before we look at the properties of Stretch, just to zip through what uh, every item in the project is. So we have a background here taken from the moon image. We have the foreground of the moon image inside this group with the word stretch. So I turn that on and off. We then have the stretch modifier that's affecting the, the word stretch and the foreground of the moon. So I can turn that on and off. And then above this group, we have a noise modifier, just adding a little bit of noise. And then all of this composition sits inside a group uh, that's got a mask on it just to tidy up the edges a little bit. Okay, let's jump back down into the stretch modifier and move over towards the properties panel here to look at what's going off with this stretch modifier. So we have a center position property here that uh, controls the center position of the stretch where it wants to be uh, affecting. So if I move this up and down, you can see these values changing and left and right. You can set these numerically if you wish, or you can just drag around this widget on the canvas. Okay, pretty straightforward there. Below that is a rotation value. Again, it does what it what you think it will do. It rotates the axis and the angle of which the stretch is occurring. So if I drag this around here, you can see that changing. I can also drag the wheel on the modifier on the on the widget here. That's great. Really simple stuff. Then a cool property called distance, which controls the stretch level. So the distance between the two halves of the stretch. If I move that up, they move further away. If I move them back, it's like there's zero effect. When I have a distance on the stretch modifier and I up the smoothness here, you can see it brings the edges of the stretch back together and smooths that out a bit. So you can make these sort of really cool warpy effects Again, everything can be moved around in real time here if you don't like the angle or the location of your stretch. Let's just try and put that in the middle of the E there. That's pretty cool. Then uh, the last property we have here is the offset. This controls where the center point uh, or which direction the stretch occurs in from the center point. So if I move this all the way to the right here and increase the distance, it will stretch over to the right there. And then if I move it this way, it will do to the left. Cool. We also have some presets that you can explore if you want to. We're going to be adding more soon. And like every other modifier in Modify, you have full control over the blend mode. So you can get some really cool effects. If I go to stretch up the distance, put the offset in the middle, then zip through the Blend mode, you can see we're blending the stretched version with the original version. You get some really cool looking things here. And uh, you can also animate all of these uh, parameters. So this uh, example project has an animation built into it. I'm just going to go back a few steps to make sure it doesn't look completely crazy when I do this. And let's just hit play. So what's happening here is the rotation and the distance are animated via the same sine expo wave so you can see that the distance gradually gets further away as the rotation occurs so you get this cool sort of stretchy rotatey thing happening um, you're not just limited to use one type of one modifier if I duplicate this I'm going to hit command J here I can run two stretch modifiers at the same time if I want to you can see I've got those stretches crossing each other whoa look at this this is cool. I wonder what this is going to look like if I play the animation now. Okay. Oh, that is pretty nice. I'm happy with that. Um, 
Okay, uh, this has been a super, super quick rundown in the stretch modifier. Please check it out, um, have a play. Let us see what you've created with it. Let us know if you want more features added, more properties. Um, please also let us know which modifier you want to see next. We're gonna be gradually working through them, but we're happy to reorder them based on what you wanna see. Okay, like and subscribe, and we'll speak soon. Thank you, bye-bye.